Hello, today I just wanted to show you all this KitchenAid mixer. I got this standalone mixer here. Five quart professional HD series bowl lift stand mixer. Now, I won one of these things forever. And if you ask me why, I don't know. <laughs> but, but anyway, now we'll have to start doing some serious cooking and sticking, I guess. Anyway, over here it says makes up to nine dozen cookies. That's a whole lot of cookies. A bunch of cookies. So let's get into this box and see what it's got in it. Okay, we finally got this thing out of the box. And it's pretty self explanatory. It comes with this uh, how to book here. That, well, not how to, but the instruction guide on the, the mixer. And it comes with this whisk that's on it. And I'll take the bowl off in a minute so you can see it better. I'll take the whisk out. And it comes with this bowl here that stays attached there. This is the uh, bowl lift version. And it came with these two extra beaters here. And it comes with this and it shows you different attachments you can get. To do different things. The two main that I'm interested in is this one right up here, which it looks like sort of a food processor up here. And then I saw one uh, the other day at Coles that was a uh, meat grinder, but of course they didn't have a price on it. And you know, if you have to ask the price, you probably can't afford it, so I just left it there. <laughs> so, I'll find one until I can find the price on somewhere. So, anyway, that was a little bit of a challenge for us <laughs> to get this bowl off because neither one of us has ever messed with anything like this before. But anyway, well, first thing you can do, you can take this uh, bead off here if I can figure it out. You just sort of lift up on it a little bit and twist, you find this notch. Let me let the bowl down. That's where we let the bowl down and it drops out. But you got this notch in here. It goes up and then you turn it counterclockwise and it locks it in. Like that. And all of them have that same notch. You know, like that. And of course, you got your slot down there at face too. But now, what was the challenge was this bowl coming off of here. Like I say, we never have had one of these, and so this bowl. It's a little bit of a challenge, but you have to sort of put your hand on the bottom of it, push it up from the back, like that. <laughs> I'm sure it'll loosen up with time, but right now it's really tight because you got this little button right here, and it goes in this little notch right back here. So you can see that. Let me tighten up on it so you can see that notch. That little notch right here goes in that, and it locks in pretty good. So when it's in there, it stays in there. So, anyway, to put it back on, you just line up your little uh, grooves here and tilt it forward, and then get them on there good, and push back on it and see it's locked into place then. And then, well, I could have put it on before I put it on, put it, the bowl back on there, but then to put your, uh, this is the whisk. You just line up your notch right here, and it's got a little button back here in the back. You line it up with that, and then you turn it counterclockwise, and it drops down just a hair, and then it's on there. And then to raise up the bowl, turn that counterclockwise, and it goes up. Now we'll plug it up. And I'm just going to turn it on. I'll turn it around in a minute. Let you, well, I'll turn it around now. I'll turn it around so you can see. Tighten up a little bit. Right here's your controls on it. It's got 10 speeds on it. And so, I'm just going to turn it on one speed so you can see it operate. You'll see it goes around and around like that. And so that's going to save you oh, a lot of elbow grease, <laughs> I hope. And then you, you turn it off like this. 
and here's where you put the attachments in. Now I'm going to take this uh, whisk back out of here after I drop the bowl down. Right. Take the whisk out. Now I'm going to lift the bowl out. Just like that. Now I'll we'll open this up and, and uh, I'm going to turn this thing on first speed here just see if that turns in there. I'm sure it does. <laughs> Let's fix it so you can see it in there at the first speed. Yeah, now you can see this in here turns and that's what makes your attachment work on the outside here. And you can see this still goes around and around down here when you're doing that. So it's no big deal. No, so everything runs at the uh, same time. So just shut that back. Now, as soon as I get an attachment, I'll show you how it works. So anyway, that's about it on this uh, uh, KitchenAid mixer here. I hope you enjoyed my little video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Hope you come back and see me real soon. I hope to have another one for you. And if you can, give me a thumbs up and join my channel. And until I see you the next time, y'all have a real good day. We'll be cooking something with this thing before long, so it'll be back in the picture. So until then, y'all have a good day now. Goodbye.